The absence of the council to Kabiru Marafa's faction of the All Progressives Congress at today's court seating stalled hearing of the case challenging the, challenging the legality of the November Ward local government and state congresses. Counsel to the plaintiff, Mr. Baus Alaudin, told newsmen that the move to boycott the court was due to the attack during the last court seating. According to him, the chief judge of the state, Kulu Aliyu, was formally informed of the incident and are seeking for adequate deployment of armed security operatives in the courts to enable them to continue with the case. Senator Kabiru Marafa's faction is accusing the governor, of, uh, Governor Matawale's faction, of sponsoring hoodlums to attack them within the court's premises. But the allegations was denied by the Matawale faction. The case has been adjourned to 18th May for hearing. Received a letter from them this morning that the last agenda had been the 17th of February 2022. While in the premises of this court after the proceedings of that day, they were attacked by talks. And on account of the attacks, they felt their lives is in danger. They wrote to the, they've written to the chief judge of Zamfara State asking that security within the premises of the court be beefed up. They are yet to hear from the office of the chief judge. And for that reason, they've written to this honorable court that they are in the light of the fact that their lives is in danger, they will not be in court today. Our car was attacked, and uh, including some members uh, that are supporting, uh, followers of uh, uh, distinguished uh, Senator Kabiru Garba Marafa, and myself, and Barrister Jesse Shaka, who were chased out of court with uh, hoodlums. So we felt our lives is in danger, it will be safer to make sure that uh, we are safe, and that is until when we are in live, we, we have live that before we can be able to continue any case.